Hi, I'm Rosie Piller. Welcome to Upgrading Domain Configurations. This is the seventh in our series of eight videos about upgrading to Oracle BPM Suite 12C. As the title suggests, in this video we'll take a look at upgrading domain configurations with the Upgrade Assistant. This is the last of our core upgrade tasks. We'll use the Upgrade Assistant to upgrade several components, including Oracle Java Required Files, or JRF, System Components Infrastructure, Oracle Web Services Manager, and Oracle User Messaging Service. We'll run the Upgrade Assistant on the host with the admin server, as we did before. Then, later in the process, we'll pack the changed files up, copy them to the other host, and unpack them to ensure that the domain is upgraded identically on both hosts. We'll invoke the Upgrade Assistant the same way we did to upgrade the database schemas. On the host with the admin server, we'll navigate to Oracle Home, Oracle Common, Upgrade Bin, and run the UA from there. The welcome screen provides an overview of the Upgrade Assistant and some information about important pre-upgrade tasks. When we used the Upgrade Assistant to upgrade our schemas, we accepted the default Schemas option. This time, we want to upgrade our WebLogic component configurations, so we click that radio button. We then enter the domain directory for the 11G domain that we are upgrading now. With those two choices made, we click Next to continue. This screen provides a list of components that will be considered in the Domain Component Configuration Upgrade. They include Oracle Java Required Files, or JRF, System Components Infrastructure, Oracle Web Services Manager, and User Messaging Service. There are no inputs on this screen, so we proceed. As we've seen before, the prerequisites screen requires you to acknowledge that all prerequisites have been met before you continue with the upgrade. You must check the boxes before you can continue. I've backed up my 11G installation and instance data. I've verified my database version is certified for this upgrade. I've verified my system meets all requirements for this upgrade to 12C. Here we specify login credentials for our other host, which as you may recall has a managed server. The examine screen displays the status of the upgrade assistant as it examines each component, verifying that the component is ready for upgrade. The green check marks indicate that the examination of the components were successful. Notice that upgrade is not necessary for two of the components. The upgrade summary lets us review a summary of what is proposed to be upgraded. Review it and then click Upgrade to proceed. The upgrade is underway. The upgrade progress screen shows the status of the upgrade process. When it's complete, click Next. After a successful upgrade of your WebLogic components, this window will display the list of successfully upgraded components and the list of components that did not require an upgrade. If for any reason your upgrade is not successful, the window will display Upgrade Failure. In that event, the upgrade failed for one or more specified components, and Upgrade Assistant will have to be restarted. If this happens, click the View Log button at the bottom of the screen or note the log file location before closing the window. We've updated the host with the admin server. The next steps are to pack the changed files up, copy them to the other host, and unpack them.
Recall that this is necessary in our case because the domain directory is not shared. We'll use the pack script to pack the changed files to be copied to the other host. The pack command creates a template archive or jar file that contains a snapshot of either an entire domain or a subset of a domain. In our example, we'll create a template that contains a subset of a domain to create a managed server domain directory hierarchy on a remote machine. We'll execute the pack script from the new 12C Oracle Home. We'll pass parameters to the pack script indicating the domain we wish to pack, the name of the template, and template file. We'll also use the managed parameter, which specifies that the template is to be used to create managed servers on remote machines. Then we'll copy the newly created template file to the remote host. There are a variety of ways to do this. For example, we could use the Unix SCP or secure copy command. We would invoke the command with the name of the file to be copied, followed by user at hostname colon destination path. Once we finish copying the upgraded domain to our other host, we've completed the core upgrade tasks. But there are still a few things to do before we start our new 12C environment to ensure that our components continue to function as expected. For more information about those tasks, be sure to watch the next video in this series, Performing Post-Upgrade Tasks and Verifying Success. I'm Rosie Pillar. Thank you for your time and attention.